TikTok and I have had a few requests to do YouTube and I'm kind of nervous because I've never done anything like this before but we'll see how it goes and I have to film on my iPhone because I don't have a proper camera yet so let's just see how this turns out. So in this video today I'm going to talk about my most common questions that get asked on TikTok. I can't really answer them or explain them properly because on TikTok the videos are only 60 seconds and on the comments you can't really explain everything too much because you can't type a lot. So I wrote them all down, old school I know but let's see. So question one, do you need any other languages than English? The answer is no, all airlines, not just Ryanair, every airline only requires English so you don't need any other languages. Do you need qualifications? You don't need qualifications. All you need is to pass maths and English GCSE. And the most important thing is to have experience in customer service. You can do courses like travel and tourism in college or school, or even a degree or anything aviation related course, then you can do that if you want to. And it is always good to do it just so you have the extra qualification and then you get an insight for what you're going to be dealing with but if you don't have it don't worry you don't need it just focus on getting experience in customer service because that's the main thing for uh, being a cabin crew what does that say oh sorry i can't even read my own writing what course can i do well like i said you could do travel and tourism you could do anything aviation related I know that some universities you can do an aviation degree and quite a few people go down that route so it's generally up to you but just make sure you have experience in customer service. How long is the training? The training is six weeks so from when I applied I think it was May I was flying at the end of June so the whole process wasn't too long but yeah the actual training is six weeks. How how old do you need to be? Well, for some airlines it's 18, but for airlines like Emirates it is 21. Why do cabin crew wear red lipstick? Well, the answer is we have to wear red or pink, and that is the grooming standards for Ryanair. I'm not sure about other airlines, but for Ryanair it has to be red or pink. Is training course hard and is there loads of written work? It's not too hard, it's just more challenging if anything and it is very, very intense. Actually, I'm going to show you my manual, just give me one second. So basically, when you start your training, you get given this and now this is a manual of everything you need to know and unfortunately, you do need to memorise everything. This is from air, different aircrafts to emergency procedures to first aid to safety to, to security. It's got all your checks, um, how to use the equipment, where is it stowed, stuff like that, fire training. So yeah, this is very important and it can be a pain to go through. But the training is not hard, it's just that you have weekly exams and the pressure of that is not very nice, especially if you're not very good at exams. And you do need to revise a lot because if you don't get 90% or above on your weekly exams, you get another try. And then if you fail your second try, then you will get kicked off the training course. So it's not hard, it just requires a lot of work. And there is a lot of written work, to be honest, because look at all this. This takes ages to go through and you have to go through this in six weeks. So that's why it's very intense. But it was exciting as well because we got to go to Italy to do our fire training. So we had a little holiday for four days in Italy and it was actually really fun and you meet some cool people. So I'd say the training course is probably my favorite part. Um, what else have I got? Do you have to be away from home? The question is yes. If you get based far away from home because you don't get a choice, then you do have to move away. 
because you need to be within one hour of the airport and if you're on a home standby then you only have one hour to get ready and get to the airport and arrive on time. So yeah, you do have to move away from home and to be honest, it was quite scary at first because I had to move away from home and I had to do it by myself, but it's probably one of the best things I've done as well because it's a new adventure, it's a new challenge and it just proved that I could do it. So it is good. And if you are really unhappy with your base, you can ask for a transfer. There is a wait in this, but you can ask for a transfer. Um, what else have I got? Do you need high grades in maths and English? You don't need high grades in maths and English. You just need to pass it. Whether it's a C, whether it's a B, whether it's an A, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you pass. How did you apply? Well, you can apply on Indeed or you can apply via the airline website. So, for example, I applied on Indeed, but you can apply on the Ryanair website as well. Do you have to have a certain hairstyle? We have grooming standards and if you've got long hair like I have, it has to be in a donut all the time. Hair sprayed, no pieces hanging out, all clipped back, nice and neat. But if you have short hair like a bob, like up to here, then you can keep it down. But it is a donut because otherwise you get told off by the grooming lady if your grooming isn't up to standards and then that will be on your record and then that affects you from moving up in the rank in Ryanair so it is quite important it's it can be annoying but it does look neater so I understand how many flights per week well we can do in a week let me see now four eight twelve can be up to 20 flights per week or as little as four or six because the thing is with short haul airlines like Ryanair, EasyJet, um, basically we go there, we land, we don't stay there for long. With Ryanair it's a 25 minute turnaround and then we go back again because it's only short haul. So technically we don't actually get to stay in the country, that's why we can do up to 20 flights per week. Some days it'll be four flights a day, some days it'll be two flights a day. Either way, it's still fun, but yeah, it's nothing like long haul cabin crew, if that's what you wanted to do and get off, but it's still, it's still really fun. And also, in our five days of working, we can have a standby, a home standby, so that means you basically just sit at home, and if you get called, if they need you, or someone runs in sick, then you'll go there and do the flight instead. So it all depends on your standbys and it depends whether it's summer and it depends whether it's winter because obviously summer is crazy and we do more flights in the summer. Do you have any tips on being cabin crew? My main advice would be make sure you have experience in customer service because that is the one question they're going to ask you in your assessment day. and. Everything is based on customer service. That is basically what is the role of cabin crew is all customer service based and obviously the safety and stuff. So yeah, just make sure you have experience in customer service, be yourself, be confident, be ready, be prepared to move. And most of all, don't give up, never give up. Do all cabin crew have to wear makeup? Well, as I said, we have grooming standards and our grooming standards are that we have to wear red or pink lipstick, uh, blusher and a bit of mascara. So you can wear more if you want, but you do need to wear them free every day. And it can be quite a pain, especially if you have to get up at three in the morning and you have to do your makeup. But then again, you need to look nice and it's the grooming, so that's part of the job as well. Um, what else have I got? What's your road to like? Well, as I said, um, we have five days on and then we have three days off. So if you do move away from home, it's still good because on your days off, because you have three off together, you always got time to maintain relationships or even go home. And it gives you time to do other things if you want to study part time or, you know, you've got hobbies and things. So it is good. And then on the five days on, like I said, you may have some standbys as well, so they're like extra days off. So technically, you do get a lot of days off with cabin crew, and that's probably one of the things I like the most as well is the roster, because it really helps me do my uni degree as well. Um, so on one week, we do five days on early, so you're gonna be, you could have a flight at five or 6 a.m. 
and then you could land either at like 11 in the morning or it could be at like 4 p.m in the afternoon which is not bad and then the next week after that you do late so you you could start at midday or you could start at 2 3 4 5 p.m and then you'll land at either 10 p.m 11 p.m or even midnight or if you delayed then it could could be longer could be into like one or two in the morning but it's not bad because if you start work let's say at five in the morning and then you're delayed and you don't get back till 6 p.m the next day you'll be out of hours for the next day so you get that day off because it's illegal really to um because you need your 12 hours rest so that's another good point as well with delays <laughs> but obviously delays aren't always fun. So yeah, if you do have any more questions, then I'm happy to answer them and I'll do another video. But I'm quite excited for this channel. I'm gonna be doing stuff like my hairstyles for work, my makeup for work, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, what the training, like explain all the training and everything. So if you do want to watch and listen, then please subscribe to my channel and yeah, I'll hopefully updating videos every week. Hope you enjoyed it!